Let's talk about something that every creator, editor or anyone who's ever touched a video file has dealt with at some point. Bad quality clips, annoying watermarks, missing subtitles or just hours of converting and exporting. Yeah, we've all been there. So when I heard that Uniconverter V17 dropped uh, with some new AI powered tools, I was curious and a little skeptical. But after actually testing it for a bit, I can confidently say that this one is one of those updates that makes you go, okay, this actually changes things. Before we dive in, a huge thanks to Uniconverter for sponsoring this video and letting me explore everything the new version can do. That being said, you know me. I'll still give you my honest thoughts about what works and what doesn't. Let's start with something every creator knows too well. Watermarks. Whether you're grabbing a reference footage, testing an AI-generated clip, or working with stock material, those little logos always find a way to ruin your shot. Well, Uniconverter now has a feature specifically for that the Sora 2 generated video watermark remover. And no, it's not just a cheap blur filter that smudges half of your video. It uses AI to actually detect the watermark, analyze the motion in the frame and reconstruct what's behind it. So instead of a fuzzy blob, you get clean footage that looks like the watermark was never there in the first place. I tested it on a few clips, including some AI generated ones with those typical text overlays and it handled them surprisingly well. It even adapts when the watermark moves so you're not manually keyframing a mask for like three minutes of the video. That alone saves an insane amount of time. Now obviously I'm not saying go out and steal content, use it responsibly for your own AI generated videos or when you have the rights but not the original file. For those cases this tool is a lifesaver. Next up the video enhancer and this is where Uniconverter really flexes its AI muscles. We've all had that one clip that looked fine on our phone but turns into a pixelated mess when you try to edit it or upload it. This feature uses AI face enhancement which basically means it recognizes faces and restores missing details like eyes, skin texture and even lighting consistently. So instead of sharpening everything and turning people into wax figures, it enhances only what matters. I tested it with some older footage from my older videos, stuff that was recorded in 720p on a webcam from the Stone Age, and the difference was honestly shocking. The AI cleaned up the noise, balanced the exposure, and made faces actually look natural again. It's like Photoshop for videos, but automatic. And honestly, the best part is that you don't need a NASA level GPU or complex settings. You just drop in the video, choose the enhancement level, and it literally does the rest. If you're a creator who posts on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram, this tool alone can seriously upgrade your content quality. Now, let's talk about something that gets overlooked a lot. The subtitles. They're not just for accessibility anymore. They're a huge part of viewer engagement. If you look at your analytics, you probably notice a big chunk of viewers watch videos muted, especially on mobile. Uniconverter's subtitle editor is built to make that process painless. It can automatically generate subtitles using speech recognition, and then you can edit, sync, or translate them right there in the app. No need to open five browser tabs or pay for an online captioning service. And because it uses AI, the timing is surprisingly accurate. Like, it actually knows when you start and stop talking, which saves you a ton of cleanup work. You can also adjust font, color, and style for different platforms. Want burn-in captions for TikTok? Done. Need a, an SRT file for YouTube? Export it in one click. It's very, very simple, but that's what makes it so good. It just works. Now, obviously, Uniconverter's main claim to fame has always been its video converter. That's literally the name. But what's cool is how far they've refined that process. The conversion speed is way faster now, thanks to 
GPU acceleration and the quality loss is almost non-existent. I converted a bunch of high bitrate files from ProRes uh, to MP4 and even zooming in frame by frame. I couldn't spot any compression artifacts. It supports basically every format you can think of. MOV, AVI, MKV, WMV, WebM, FLV, you name it. And it can even handle 4K and HDR videos without breaking a sweat. Plus, you can extract audio, change codecs, or even compress videos while keeping them crystal clear. If you upload regularly, you know how annoying it is when YouTube or TikTok rejects a file because it's in the wrong format. This fixes that problem instantly. Now, let's talk about the feature that might not sound flashy but actually saves the most time batch processing if you've ever spent an afternoon manually converting enhancing or exporting one clip at a time you'll appreciate this uniconverter lets you process dozens of videos simultaneously you can apply the same watermark removal enhancement or conversion setting across the entire batch hit start and walk away it uses your system's resources efficiently, so it doesn't slow your old PC to a crawl while doing it. It's honestly one of those features you don't realize you need until you try it, and then you can't go back. For me, editing tons of clips for multiple platforms, well, this is a game changer. It keeps my workflow consistent, saves time, and it prevents the usual, did I already convert that one? Chaos that happens when you're handling multiple projects. Now, if you're wondering how all these features fit together in practice, here's a quick example. Let's say you've just generated a few AI clips with watermarks. You start by removing them with Sora 2 watermark removal. Then you notice one of the clips is a bit blurry. So you run it through the video enhancer with face enhancement enabled. Next, you use the subtitle editor to automatically caption it in English and maybe even auto translate it to Italian or Spanish for more reach. Finally, you queue everything in batch processing, convert them all into the same output format and boom, you've got clean, high quality videos ready to upload to every platform. That entire process takes maybe 10 minutes of a setup and a coffee break while it runs. Before, that would have taken hours. Now look, no software is perfect. If you're working with extremely low quality or heavily compressed footage, even the AI enhancer can only do so much. But for 95% of typical creator use cases, Uniconverter version 17 nails the balance between power and simplicity. You don't need to be a professional editor and you don't need a $3,000 setup. It just works straight out of the box. I've been testing a lot of AI tools lately and most of them either overcomplicate things or hide the best feature behind subscription tiers. Well, Uniconverter's approach feels way more accessible. You download it, open it, and instantly know what everything does. That's something I really, really appreciate. So yeah, if you're editing videos, uh, repurposing clips for different platforms, or just trying to save time in your workflow, this update is up absolutely worth checking out. Once again, a huge thanks to Uniconverter for sponsoring this video and for building tools that actually help creators work faster and smarter. If you want to try it out for yourself, I leave a link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, subscribe to stay updated on all stuff AI.